Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to get better ping and Roblox. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer under this video. So let's get started. Now the first thing that you have to consider here when you want to improve your ping in Roblox is you have to consider your internet connection. So for your internet connection, if your internet connection is not that fast and a lot of people is currently using that connection, then you'll have to probably upgrade your internet connection or you just need to wait for like a few hours until you're the only one using that internet connection. So when you're ping, is very high than a lot of people using bandwidth and the lesser bandwidth that you're getting you'll have or you'll receive a higher ping so that's one of the things that you should consider first now the second thing that you want to consider is what type of connection you are currently using now if you're using a wi-fi connection or a wireless one then you'll have to consider using a wired one because if you're using a wireless connection, by far, wireless connection is a lot so slower because you are using signals and signals could actually be interrupted if you're using a wireless one. But if you're using a wired connection, then you won't have the problem on figuring out why you're having high ping. Like for example, if you're using Wi-Fi and in between your PC, and your Wi-Fi, there's a microwave, then there's a high probability that the microwave or that the signals that your microwave is emitting probably is disrupting your internet connection. So you have to consider if you're using Wi-Fi or a wired connection. Now, if your internet connection is good, it's pretty high. I mean, it's really uh, high, very strong, and you're using a wired connection, then you most probably won't have any issues but if in case you're having any issues with your ping then there's a few things that you could do well what now one of the first thing that you could do here is we want to change our dns now to change our dns we want to first go to our control panel now in here you just need to type in into your windows icon here we just need to type in here the following which is control panel open this up and from here, you want to go to Network and Internet, go to Network and Sharing Center. And from here, you want to go ahead and click on Ethernet. And from here, you want to go to Properties. Now, under Properties, you want to look for IPv4 or Internet Protocol version 4. Now, in here, you want to click on Properties again. And from here, you want to change your DNS. So by default, it's going to say or it's going to be set to obtain the NS server address automatically. Now, in this case, since we want to improve our ping, we want to change this to a another one. So right now, I'm using the Google DNS, which is 8888, and the alternate DNS server is 8844. So go ahead and enter this one, and from here, just click on OK. Once you've entered the, the servers here, click on Close, click on Close again, and close this one now the next thing we want to do here is we want to flush our dns so go ahead and go to search and you want to type in the following which is cmd and from here just open the cmd here and you need to type in the following which is going to be ipconfig space slash flush dns and just press on enter it's going to say windows ip configuration successfully flush the dns to server cache now in here, you could just go ahead and try if this actually solves your issue with your ping and Roblox. Now, if this doesn't solve your issue, then there's a high chance that your PC is currently preoccupied with other processes that is using your internet. So I would suggest if you have Steam open up in your PC because sometimes it's going to actually automatically boot up for Steam and make sure that you're not downloading anything on your PC. So especially if you have a torrent or any downloads in progress right now, make sure you stop all of those because it's going to actually divert or basically cut your internet connection and you'll have problems on your ping. Now, for us to minimize this one, I would suggest you to try and edit your securities and update. 
So from here, you want to go to the bottom left, click on the Windows icon, and you want to go to settings. Now in here, you want to go to update and security. Now from here, you want to go to delivery optimization. And under delivery optimization, you want to look for advanced options and just click on it. Now from here, you need to look for the percentage of measured bandwidth. Now we have two options here. We have limit how much bandwidth is used for downloading updates in the background and limit how much bandwidth is used for downloading updates in the foreground. Now I would suggest you to reduce the uh, download speed for this one. Like for example, it's going to use 9% for background downloading updates and for foreground downloading updates, it's going to be limited to 16%. So it's going to limit the amount of bandwidth it's being consumed whenever there are updates on Windows. So this is one of the ways that you could do this. But yeah, going back, if you have ongoing progress on downloads, make sure that you turn off those downloads temporarily while, you're pre while you are pre playing Roblox. But yeah, and that's about it. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.